Hey folks, welcome back to Forever Skies. I've just been sitting here admiring some art. Yeah, we picked this up a couple episodes ago and decided to plop it up on a wall there. Um, yeah, my exit sign's still there too. <laughs> anyway, we're still here at the bottom of this greenhouse. And I know we spent quite a bit of time at the end of last episode cleaning out all of the glass and metal but I still see some shimmers and reflections and blue and orange up in there hmm I know that that uh, I had been reminded in the comments that there were some things that got missed and it's a nice sunny day though don't expect that to last more than 15 minutes in fact as soon as we get up here I'd go bad but let's walk through this place one more time just make sure that I know I saw a couple of missed things hello when I was editing I don't remember seeing those though but we did get this last time one two three that looked empty I wonder if some things respond I wonder if the game isn't uh, truly saving the condition that you left things in I sure thought I got more of this metal and glass out of here. And this door is closed like we never went in. And there's stuff all over in here. No, I didn't see three barrels of... This is the same building, right? I don't know. I do suspect that the map, in some sense, is procedurally generated. Data card... Amber storage rack. Ooh, good stuff there. We can put our storage boxes in racks. But when you first start the game, you've got to go and find that uh, epoxy, that um, the the turbo, the turbine, you know, for lift. And I've watched other people play it who walked right past it, didn't know what it was, didn't scan it, and move on to the next platform and it was sitting there waiting for them again to where once you find it is never sitting at any of the uh, uh, any other platform waiting for you again so it must be triggered to continue to make itself available until you finally figure it out so I wonder to what extent these platforms in general are permanent or just kind of create as you go kind of like Minecraft how I would build the world as you as you went. Anyway, I am talking and asking myself, how do we not clear out this these vines last time? So I do wonder if some of this has respawned now that I've turned the game back on again. You there? Uh, put you away. Flash. Well, wow. Flashlights. Good. Good for filming too. Let's just see. Let's. It lets everybody else see, as my monitor might look different from yours, or might look different from what my graphics card is recording right now. So it might look really good to me, but the video might come out dark, or vice versa. So, yep, lighting is good. Over here, now, I don't think we ever came back with the battery, did we? Maybe that's where we were supposed to be coming back. This is where the critter jumped out. The the cricket. I call him critter. At us. And here. This is accessible. Probably from the top. Must be. Unless it's from inside there. Probably have a storm coming soon. I'm just sitting here talking. So let's run over here. Yeah, we still need the battery. And I don't have one because we need to stop at several platforms. There's a poster. Take poster cross beating. I've seen this in other videos. I've never stopped to really look at it. So I need to get up and get the battery from the light up here. There's the rain collector at the top of this place. Fills up, goes down the tube, lands in that infinite pool of, of uh, water down there. I'm going to try to make that jump. So if I just hit shift, it doesn't do anything. I have to run shift and then jump. Yeah, it's quite a uh, quite a contortion of finger moves. 
real quick succession there. Okay, we're back. And pop that in there. And that gives us the computer. Flower breeding test results. Okay, I guess that is what's on the computer. The latest breeding shows strong positive reactions to pollution. After a few days of exposure to sulfates, it clearly flourishes. In contrast, it gradually dies in a clean atmosphere. Ah, so they're making plants that will clean up the dust layer, I'm, I'm guessing. The side effect is unusual colors. We still have a lot of testing ahead of us before we can create a plant that purifies the atmosphere. However, we can give a little color to this gray and sad reality. They didn't capitalize, however. Hmm. Find surface lift locations. New task. Reach the exclamation point marker on the radar. Aha. Um find coordinates I guess we did what did we do between walking from there to here I, I don't know somehow we just got the coordinates to get down under the uh, under the ash I had wondered how we we're going to get this ship I'm talking and walking and I'm walking in circles how we were going to get this ship down under the ash when you get near the ash it says everything is about to fall apart Turns out there is a massive elevator that gets you down there. I've been watching uh, other playthroughs, and that's what we have coming ahead of us. It's it's a bit tricky. It's a bit intense down there. So we've filled up on a bunch of the plant oil. Let's, I guess, finish off with maybe ten of these. There we go. And our ship isn't there. Uh, there we are. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. There's our ship. See how it attaches right there. What I want to do is I want to see what it what it's like to take the cockpit off and move it forward. Put the cockpit out over here in front of the balloon. And rather than building this big long tail of a, uh, of a base out there, let's center it on that pivot point. I think it might be easier to steer won't have as much tail swing so I'll give, give that one a try so are we pretty much done here can I hit any more of not really okay turbine let's pull up a little bit and let's see what is that shift yeah here we go look at all that glass now, I thought we got everything but I don't know what side we were on when we Ow, oh, there's so much there. I think it respawned. I, I'm pretty sure that was my video I'm remembering. <laughs> Sitting there and just running this gun over and over again. Huh. Maybe that was a dream. Maybe I didn't save it. Oh, no, no, because Critter didn't jump out at us a second time. So that wasn't it. There we go. What else? Grab that one. Grab a few more and call this good. But glass is good. A lot of things require it. As well as, as uh, making the ship look better with windows. Uh, this is probably all steel or iron. Yeah, metal. Grab a few of these. Well, I think that's all that's going to come out easily. The rest of it's really fighting me. Okay, so we're back in here. And let's drop down. I know as soon as I start talking, this game's going to throw a thunderstorm at me. Um, where am I right now? Oh, I'm, I jumped up in the air. That's right. So if I pivot around, I should be able to see the landing pad. Oh, I should be hitting the landing pad. What did I just bump? I don't know. I'm up in the air. Okay, well, can I back out? Hmm. Well, I want running lights. I really want running lights. Anyway, I wanted to show you something. There is an update coming for this game. 
and one of the first things that they want to address let me drop down here is these players that are building these massive ships and they don't know how to land them so one of the first things they're going to add is a gangplank you can attach it to either the front or the side of the ship and push a button and it will extend out and attach and you can just walk out there and not try to get your ship to land so I guess it will count as being docked maybe that's how it works let's pull out over here and looks like there's a safe area right in, down in there drop down a little bit do some sorting figure things out then take a look at the uh, um, you call it the radar and figure out where we're going next I want to show you something inside the ship too so let's get down into the 220 ish range that gets us down below where the where these guys will be attacking us as well as thunderstorms typically going down boy kind of spooky just kind of plunging into the unknown here all right we'll stop right there 221 i learned something watching a video i would have never thought of it on my own so i'm going to just say thank you to i don't even know what video it was just kind of randomly uh, scrolling through different uh different videos out there trying to find mostly commentators whose voices are not uh, obnoxious you know so some of that's just interesting to sit back and listen to and I was watching one and came up with two there we go build tool put the we don't have any metal didn't I get any metal out of that we got metal what am I missing here? Build. Metal floors, synthetics. We got no synthetics out of there. That's what happened. Okay. So not many synthetics here. So I won't be able to do this very much. But a metal floor. We've already... Did we start putting any in here? We didn't. But turns out your original room right here has lights in it. How do you get lights into there? You put a metal floor up into it. And the game automatically puts lights in. Cool. So these dark rooms at night, suddenly we can have it all lit up. So, there's a little tip for you. Give that a try. Otherwise, let's see if we can't get access to the upgrade station. There we go. Um, I wasn't thinking of upgrade station. I was thinking more of the... Are we just fine? The tool rack. Hmm. So that's not here. Maybe that shows up with the upgrade station. You need two circuit boards and 20 glass. That would be here and here. And get you going. And yeah, I need synthetics. Pro the storm is coming. Yep, I knew as soon as I got into talking, a storm would come at me. Okay, so we got the upgrade station. So I either need to build it or what's that take? It takes polymers. Motherboard and transformer. So what do we have on us? We got four. What am I not seeing there? You. Oh, it takes five. Okay. So let's grab. Oh, top you off to five. And motherboard and transformers. Or yeah, we don't have either of those. Have we searched, researched both of those? We have. Okay. Let's get those going just so we can get this happening and see how it works. Uh, transformer requires machine parts and electrical elements. Okay. Grab all of you and all of you. Another reason to hit lots of the of the low level or you know original um, platforms. A lot of these building materials are needed in just about everything. You need lots of the uh, the machine parts and the uh, what really looks like a breaker. I think it is just a breaker. The the uh, right here. If you're looking real close, well, I don't get a good view of it here. But take transformer. Okay, so upgrade station that is here. 
We need three of those and one motherboard. What's the motherboard take? Where is that? Over here? Yeah. So you take copper and plastic scrap. Let's get that going. So copper is over here. And plastic scrap is over here. Get that made and then drop those off. Okay. Plastic scrap back in there. Um, I think that's enough. Well, if we need more glass, we'll go pick it up. What else goes in here? Uh, we need... don't remember now what the transformer took. So I won't unload any more until we get to that point. You look like you're almost done. Motherboard. Okay, transformer needs electrical elements. Oh, we can only do one more. Bummer. Okay, well, we're not going to get all these. So in that case, we will put you back, you back, and we'll put the transformers in there. And we'll hang on to these two for now. Copper can go back. And we need to go visit a place that's got more of the electric elements and the machine parts. You're done? You're done. Okay, epoxies. Uh, you were kind of going in here. Yeah, we need to figure things out. Here. Do that. Toss. You in there, you in there. And it seems like you were going in here. Do you fit? You do. Oh, we've got rotten food. We've got you guys go bad in one day and three hours. Sure, let's toss you guys in. I'm not going to make any more out of these, so let's just go ahead and cook them. Boil. You toss you in and boil. Make some food out of you. Food's actually really low. Uh, food in here? Yeah. You two days and you one day. You're a boiled dust moth. Let's go ahead and get you down. Oh, it was water that was so low. Okay. So we'll drink three of these and go ahead. Where am I? Over there. And get the purifying going on. Okay. Well, the sun is back up. Where are we exactly? I want to find one of the, the lily pad uh, original platforms. What would they look like? Is that it? That's the wind farm. And this big thing here, like that one right there, is the greenhouse. So I'm thinking it's this. So let's move across to the left and grab you, grab you. And what did we get from those? That is just 15 food. Okay, well, you're good for another two plus days. Whereas you are good for another two plus days. Okay, let's leave you there. Let's get you cooking. And we'll call that done. And let's head off to the left. Into somewhere around there. So that is that one. The other one is actually right there. Um, let's swing over and make sure that we've actually got everything out of this. I noticed that it doesn't have a red mark under it. Does that mean we've been there? Or does that just mean that all the wind farms have, have blue down triangles and all of the... You know, the single orange lights have red down triangles. And these have green down triangles. Okay. So there's no indication whether we've been there or not. No hint. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I want to go to that one, but let's see if there's any um, raw materials we can grab out of this one. All right. If we stay down nice and low, we shouldn't get into any of the, uh, the junk stream problems there. So let's go up a little bit. All right, so we're crossing through the junk stream. We've got copper out there. So either we've not been here or we did a horrible job of cleaning everything up. So let's take you up in the air. That copper is really flashing. Interesting, like it's on fire. Is that just the dust and lighting? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we stopped it. Okay, what else is nearby? I can't quite get around to there. Let's go a little higher and see if I can shoot into there. 
Um, we need food and sleep. Uh, let's grab this guy. In fact, let's just eat him. Okay, so that helped the food. We get another one of those going. Let's take this up higher. And can I look into right there? I can. Rotate around. I see some copper in that one. Let's see what we can grab from here. Do I need to get closer? Uh, not that one. There you are. So close. No. Oh! Got that one. Okay. Over here, we can clean out the building a little bit. There. Another one there? There it is. This would probably be easier from the other deck gun. It is nice having on both sides. Oh, out of range. I can get you guys, right? Yeah. And now we can get the battery out of these places. Got the, uh, the knife. Okay. That's all that I see flickering except for this, which it doesn't seem to want to give to me. Yeah, we'll have to get closer for that. Okay. Oh, I see helium tanks. I don't think we've been here. Right there. Pivot a little, and I think I can... Shoot right down into that, right through the ceiling. Yeah. Boy, what is with this? It will not let me even hit those. Okay, well, we'll get these while we're at it. Time for a thunderstorm. Yep. Why can I not see that? That is wild. Ah, can I get to you now? Nope, you're out of range. Alright, well, do we drop it in there anyway or not? 244 for this this deck. And touchdown. So I saw something right over here. There you are. Gotcha. And that's it over there. Yep. And over here. That is just a light inside. There's nothing to actually take off of there. Okay. Yep, I think we're done there. Okay, so on me, let's drop off any of these. Uh, not that one. Drop off you and you. And glass was going into here. Got room, yeah. And let's just eat you to clean out the space. Copper, any room? Got a tiny bit. And these we're going to collect. We can get rid of these. Plant oils. Right there. And I suppose the other empty would be fine. And now let's keep two empties on us. One to drink and two to fill. Okay, that looks good, although I don't need the polymer. Okay. You lose something if you fall to your death. Probably best to not be carrying anything as vitally important when you go out on one of these little expeditions. Helium, good. Now, tell me we don't need a battery on this one. I'd like to actually get ahead on batteries platforms where you have to use a battery to get stuff kind of defeats that purpose. Alright. Um, I haven't really been noticing or checking to make sure there was anything I haven't scanned. I'll try to be more aware of that. Data pad? No data pad. Okay. Over here. One of you. Alright. Oh. Hello. Helium fuel. We haven't used that yet. And 
and I won't be until I'm done expanding the balloon, but may as well take advantage of the, the, the fuel that's already created. So, nothing missed there. There, go across. Up, oh, another tank. Ah, good stuff over here. One, two, and one hiding behind. Yeah. And another copper. Got to shoot that right through that hole. It will be a while before we have the hand extractor. That requires an energy crystal, which comes from down under the dust. So it will be a while before we get there. And actually, we will be a while because I have got some real life things to deal with soon that's going to not let me... Uh, do any more recording for a while. I've got to finish this renovation project. Anything missed over here? Um, before I take a trip coming up, and so I can't keep stalling this off because I'm renovating my master bedroom. This we've been to this one. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done. Stop talking. Just get to it. <laughs> And so we're living in the guest room. But when we get back from this trip, we have company coming over that needs to use a guest room. So we're not going to be able to uh, keep doing what we've been doing. We're going to have to get the project done. So I've been delaying it, taking time doing things like making this video. Um, take off. And we want to go to the... Where am I? To the right. Uh, over there. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to have to actually get this accomplished this time. Right now, it is so hot in there. It's 90 plus degrees outside. So it's uh, uncomfortable doing the mudding and taping. It's so humid in that room, so I decided to take some time off. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. The lily pad. What I call the lily pad platform. Get you down nice and low, down to the 220 range. So it can thunderstorm all at once, and typically you won't take a hit. And you can just take your time and, and walk around and redesign things. Although, I need to get into a good spot to... Let's see, let's go up a little bit so it's a little clearer. Uh, shift. Now... What was? Airship critically damaged. Hmm. Okay. Pull out of this. What did I just... Probably just bump something above. Uh, I don't... What's going on? Am I hitting something or something hitting me? I don't know. Let's go land this thing. I wanted to get a whole bunch more of the synthetics, but I don't know what I just broke. <laughs> okay, we'll go down here and figure it out. I thought they were just bumping into the ship, but they only do damage when you're moving. So this is a 220 landing pad. Yeah, somewhere in there is good enough. Okay, so what did we just bang? Didn't back into anything. The floor doesn't seem to be having any issues. Nothing out here. Um, I just caught a blue. What was it? Right there. That's tiny. That couldn't have been it. He said critically. Uh, the airship frame? No. So, I don't know what it was. Turn that off. Okay. So, from here, let... Oh, hello. Well, I found it. Okay, five. Any more like that? Let's jump across. Or can I? I cannot. Okay. We'll do it over here. Nope, that seemed to be it. Okay. Anyway, I want to back up a little bit. I'm not going to do anything with the back end. I'm going to do something with the front end. So, five, turn you off, jump in, go up, and swing over, and back up. 
Something like that. Drop back down. That's good right... I think it's good right there. Let's go down a touch more. Don't need to anchor it. I just don't want to have to climb to get in. Um, pop out of you. And what do I have? Yeah, I need more synthetics. That's what I was trying to get at. I've only got the 42. So what can I grab from here? Uh, yeah, I guess I've got a fairly good aim from here. So I'll take care of this for a while and get back to you. Okay, so it took us through the night to get into better lighting. Collected a bunch of supplies. Got all of our stats up. Food, water, sleep, etc. So grab you guys just for fun. So now the rain has stopped and we can kind of think for a bit. I want to take this guy off and just explore what else we can do with this ship. So to do that, I need to... Well, I need to get this emptied out. Ooh. Okay. Be right back. And to make room, I need to put this big old poster up somewhere. Position blocked. This thing's huge! On the ceiling. Um... I don't want to block my windows. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well, so much for that plan. I guess it just goes right there. So, is it actually important to the game? I'm not recognizing any of these. It's just more of a generic concept, I guess. So, in that case, let's take the small box, drop it on the floor somewhere take you back down and put you in the box <laughs> you go there all right so let's do the same thing with the football can I grab anything else kind of okay so you should just toss the football but there we go that should be enough to you go there you go there that gets the box available. Q. Okay. And drop you, I guess, in between. Eventually we'll have more of a, of a rack system for those. But that opens up space to be able to do this. So E, no, Q. And the ship goes silent. So, <clears throat> in case you don't know, this guy is going to be there until you press 5 once again. So it's in slot 5 down there. 5 exposes it, 5 takes it away. So you don't have to go to find an empty slot somewhere in order to get this, you know, nothing in your in your face. So we need to move this guy. He's a problem. So Q. And temporarily I don't want to have to carry him. So where are you? 5? No, you're not there yet. So tab. Let's Swap out the knife, I suppose. There we go. So three. And we'll just drop you there just so you don't get lost. Now I think we're clear. Right? I think so. So build tool. Of course, it might say we don't have room for all the materials that are going to come out of this. Um, center wheel. Click. And now we can remove. Not enough inventory space. Arr. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do this in pieces. Can we pull the glass out of there? So we don't have a space for glass. That's the problem. So circuit boards can be put away. What else can I put away? Helium went over with fuel. That's not fuel anymore, is it? I, I think it is. You go there. Fuel goes there. Um, does that give us enough? I think it does. So let's try that again. Remove. Really? What am I missing? I've got three spaces. So what could possibly... Are there four... What's it take to make a cockpit? Uh, first of all, glass floor is glass synthetics and metals. And the cockpit is glass synthetics and metals. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go dump something else. Maybe we should just, you know, dump some glass or synthetics or metals. Glass? Can't. So... 
Yeah, no room. Okay, middle guy. You get two stacks of those and a stack of that. Food gets this guy. And we'll stick some copper in there just for fun. Alright, that's plenty of opening spaces now. One more time. Or should I say, take four. You. No. You. There we go. You're gone. So, let's pull out of that, go into there, put a room in here. And do I do one more room? Yeah, one more. No. <laughs> Metals. <laughs> uh, grab you back, and grab you back, and... No, I'm going the wrong direction. So, grab you back. Inventory full. Why do you keep saying that? And you... Grab a couple of you. And... We'll see if that's enough for now. So I can do that from here. Um... That room, right there. Okay, and we can walk through these X's. They're like caution tape. So we can put the cockpit out here and have the ship a lot more centered to the balloon, to the to the mounting space over there. Now, let's play with cockpits. There's a small one and a big one. What exactly does that mean? Small cockpit is what we had. Big one is just off-centered. Which I guess if you're running two balloons it would look good probably right there. Yeah, so you'd walk over to the center between the balloons and actually steer. Hmm. Okay. Or you can be the Millennium Falcon and steer from way out over on a side. <laughs> so that, that hole's gonna get me. I just know it. And we have not explored this lily pad yet, so remember that. But you, let's put your cockpit back in. And let's put the glass floor back in if it'll let me. And it will. Okay, you're there. And five puts this guy back in. And I did like Hydration off to the side. Hydration level is decreasing. It's you and you. And no other food, food goods in here, so I've got to... Actually, we could get this guy cooking. Just to show you that it works. I think we did that once, didn't we? Doesn't make anything really appetizing, but it does give you 15 food. Well, you. Uh, grab you. Put you in. How are you doing? We can swap you out. And grab more waters. And we'll swap that out here soon. Okay, so with that, we could put more deck out here. We could add one more room at this point. And maybe maybe two, maybe keep it long and skinny out front. So from here, I'd want glass floor there as well. Uh, two. There we go. Glass floor needs more glass. Right there, grab a stack of 50. And so two glass floors gives us plenty of, of view down below us. Then we back to metal floors throughout. And we do have a lot of metal. We do. Now weight-wise, we're 800 out of 1,300, so we're fine. So I don't know if that's pounds or kilograms. Cook station right there. So one overcooked meal does give us 15 food. No flavor, but it's 15 food. So we'll, we'll take that one. And that is the end of the foods for a while, except for these guys. Which I'd like to keep. I wish they would stack. But if we get into a spot where we can't fish, we can't get food, and we're down there to an angry little red bar at the bottom, then we have something to use as backup. So there's no other food there, so let's remember that. Storm is coming, but we can ignore that. Okay, so what does it take to build doors? To do... What do I want here? Not that one. This one. Doors require electric elements. 
Okay, that's where we get into walking around on this little this little lily pad and seeing what's around here. So let's drop you guys off and we'll come back for the rest. I think there's enough room there to handle whatever's coming up here. Um, grab you, put you in there, and cook station will swap you out. That gives me plenty of empty bottles to grab water from the fast place. So dirty water. Alright, so my path down is over here this time. And that's it. Whoa. Down here is the battery up there. I'm going to wait till it's not lightning to go to the very top. But three no longer has my knife. There we go. Three. Get a bunch of biofuel from here. And we could... Yeah, let's grab all the biofuel. All the uh, biomass. Going so slow. There we go. Three per. Can I go through this? Cannot. Okay. Flashlight. In here was the lobster chilies. That's what we would have discovered. And I guess we would have gotten the canola from here, too. Okay. Now I can walk through this. Do you have a uh, sun melon? You don't. I'm going to skip the rest of that. I hate to fall after all of this. But I would like to see if there is another sun melon up here. Not there. Not there. No. That, there's one lure that requires a sun melon. But I am not getting the sense that it's here. Okay. I'll do this. battery real quick. Oh, there's a building up here. How did I not, not notice that? Ground. Grab you. We finally have an extra battery. Whoa! All well, my health is fine, so that wasn't me. And it didn't tell me that the uh, airship got damaged. So maybe we're okay. Alright, what's in here? A data card? You are a simple wall shelf. Nice. You are nothing. This place is stripped. And opened. Have we been here? Is this the very one we went to? And left the battery so we can come back to it. That's possible. Can I jump from here? I don't think so. Okay, Storm. Time for you to be done. The thunder in this game is amazing. They really do a good job with it. How do you get out of here? I don't think that's it. But there are a lot of thunderstorms. Yeah, here, this is how I get out. You are a bruise flower. Don't need you. And once again, no sun melons. Okay, so out of here collected all that we could, though we didn't get any electric parts or any of that, unfortunately. And did I decide that that's what the doors require? Uh, two. Doors require electric elements. How many do we actually have? None. One. Just one. Okay. Need another low-level platform. Get some more of those. Okay, so biomass, let's play with that. I need more clean water. So let's make a condenser membrane. Uh, water, you get water coming in. While that's being made, let's grab all of that. And if we do want to start running this kind of fuel, um, there we go, then we're going to have to have a much better system of of uh, water, clean water production. 
So fuel would be with the engines. That is not been researched. Ah, there we go. And now we may not have enough. It takes ten. Oh, we do have plenty. Okay. Well, let's throw you in there and we'll just give this a try. You're usually pretty quick. There we go. So you require clean water. We don't have enough? Now we do. No, nope, we're still in progress. There we go. We'll make one just to see it made. So you require 10 biomass and 5 clean water. So that might be considered kind of a lot of work. It does make better fuel than the synthetic. And I think it's pretty comparable to the helium, but I'm not willing to use my helium. So that's the difference. Are you free and clear? You are. Okay. I didn't go for food because I thought we had to move. So we now have 50 biomass fuel. Um, do we have water here? We do. Tell you what, let's go ahead and fill one engine with biomass fuel. The other engine with probably just the synthetic. So you will be there. Grab you. Dust lettuce. And send you back down. And... Food. Insect lure. Oh, you're different. Oh, you were the canola and biomass and polymer. Okay. Lure mounted to insect catcher attracts the best catch. We'll do 5 to 15... No, 10 times. Well, hey, we're here. We have canola, so let's give that one a try. More health. Good. And we're done. So, put you in there. Okay. Lights. There we go. And... Let's drive room. Barely. Um, what can I drop? Cannot drop. Get, go to our catch-all right now. Drop you and you. Ah, oh, fuel. You will be... Hmm. We'll put the 50 in there. And drop, drop you in there. Need another synthetic fuel. There we go. Top you off. Put the rest in here. And grab more biomass. And water. And food. Go ahead and just eat you right out of there. And... Did the same with the other already? I guess we... Oh, it never, never hit boil. There we go. And... One more of these. Okay, that tops all those off. Now, I've got room. Let's go get that canola. I uh, need the knife. Flashlight. So the flashlight's only good if you remember to use the flashlight. Otherwise, you're just kind of straining. Do we have three? I think we had four. Okay. So, three... Is nothing happening? I'm confused. I'm getting it. Okay. Oh, I see. It must have been cutting through the one into another. And they weren't all re registering. So this one maybe has one left and it's done. Okay. Okay. Um, still have room. Okay, that's four. And I don't think I have any reason to grab those right now. Okay, so three. Up is here. Uh, you're freaking on me. You're freaking on me. Come on now. Yeah, we're kind of stuck. Okay, unstuck. 
There we are. Now, let's take a look at that lure. What else did I need? Grab the fuel. Put you into here. 100. And 100. Okay. Food. Lure. Also needed polymer. And I think I have enough. Five. Kind of expensive. But we get ten uses out of it. And it's only the best. So what would that be? The fat moth? Let's go find out. And send you down. Okay. So you have got water. Top you off. You need more water. Have nothing. You... And Fat Dust Moth. So apparently it's going to give you the best of what is available at the moment. They didn't say specifically what you're going to get. So that tells me that there will be other bests coming up. So that description won't have to be changed. Okay, so let's eat you. And you are left. Is there anything else that needed canola? You may as well get you going. So, need water, which I've been using up as fast as I can make it. So, research, and need another membrane over there, get you going. So, what was it we just researched? The water bottle. So, that is you. You take five more followers. Yeah. Things are getting expensive now. Let's make one of you. And get you going. And I don't need the fat moth at the moment, but I can certainly store you. Alright. Do a little housekeeping here. Clean you guys up. Glass. Glass. So I'm thinking two doors and a big deck out here on both sides. So four doors. And then another room right here and here. And we can start dividing this area up a little bit more. Probably so. Yeah. That means a lot of moving things around. Um, well, let's put the deck in. Get that part done. Which is a lot of the synthetics, unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I do know that I want a box up there at the steering wheel. So let's grab you. You're in space number four now. I like the repair kits up here. It just seems like a, a good place for them. Makes sense to me. So let's drop you guys. And we're down to that many repair kits. Eh, I don't know. There might be more scattered in random boxes. Yeah, there they are. That's the load that was in there. Aha. Plus the football. Okay, so you guys all go in here, not you. Uh, you're right there. So, and you as well. Get okay, all of our repair kits up front. Okay, you can be the miscellaneous box. You are fuel and fuel related things. That works. And. You have been all of the things that we get on these first level platforms. So glass will drop into here. Batteries will need their own place once we actually start storing some up. But until then, I want to keep one battery on me at all times. So I had been putting three stacks of each of, of these in here, two rows of the metals and synthetics. You were going to be copper. I'm don't know what... Let's grab the copper out of there. Copper's not working there now. So, you're just going to be here with the miscellaneous. Yeah. And I guess the canola we're going to cook. Alright. So, you... Actually, you come out because you go in. Transformer is a problem. So, we were short of something to build the something. Upgrade station. So we needed another transformer. 
Oh, we have no more polymer either. Yeah, I just made uh, made a bottle or something with that. Okay, so scratch that whole plan. Next time we'll get the upgrade station going. <laughs> okay, well I slept some more. And let's grab that. And pretty much topping us off. So we can concentrate on other things. So drink both of you. And do, did it rain since? It's raining now. Okay. I would love to get you actually out in the rain. Even though it works without it, it just feels kind of strange. But with that, I think we can get back in the air. I think there's enough done there. I need more parts. I need some more... Oh, radar. I need some more low-level platforms. So Q... Anything else like radar that I didn't put back? don't think so. We're going to go there. So we don't want the wind farms. We want this guy. Or preferably that one. Let's go that direction. We're not going to be heading to that uh, that elevator for any time soon. Let's continue building the ship and kind of building our base and our foundation before heading whoops down into there. I bumped my mouse pad. Um, yeah, let's go there and see what shows up on the horizon when we get there. I see we have a question mark nearby. That could be worth going to. Okay, jump back in. We are fueled up. So the different kinds of fuel doesn't mean different amounts of speed. So we're not going to be have one engine going faster than another engine. Where am I going? I'm talking again. Um, question mark. I lost the question mark. There it is. We're heading that way. There's double flashing. Where's a... Heading for that one. I can see these lights. I can't see those lights. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I need to get some altitude. So we'll get up into the 230 range. Still, they should be right there. And they're not. Yeah. Boom. Let's take it back down. Back down to that two... Low 220s. Okay. Ah! We're heading right at it. It is not there. Maybe there is a building in the mist. That is... Boom! Yeah, boy. Let's get through this junk stream, then we'll go up. Ah! There it is. It must be behind that building. That's why we can't see it. Alright, so let's kick our altitude up. Get out of the uh, the haze down here. And actually it's right there. The light's off. We've been here. Interesting. So we're backtracking. Okay. I don't mind that. But I'm curious to see how much we accident accidentally left. So let's drop down. Look around in here. Don't you hit me. <laughs> so, no battery. Pretty much stripped everything out of this guy. Looks that way. Though I'd love to confirm that. I see plastics on the garbage bags. That's just no, no battery. But I wouldn't have left the plastic. So I am really curious if the game responds things. It shouldn't. That's that's kind of like cheating. But maybe it doesn't think that you will ever go back to the same place. 228 for this guy. Right in there. And head out. Let's go see what's going on. I don't like walking through these things. I'd rather use a door. It just feels like... One of these days, I'm going to do it not thinking and step off into the uh, into the unknown. Okay, down in here, no plastic on this one. There's this guy. Okay. Take the football. Oh, if we've been here. <laughs> okay, put you in there and throw you back down there. Okay, well, it didn't respawn. It did. There's no way I would have missed these. Data card? A wall lamp. Ooh, nice. And the football's... Different football? 
different football. Uh, don't have anything to strip out of here. And can I see the panel? Not really. But we, I did see from the air. You're empty. I thought I saw plastic. Certain I did. Little orange uh, cylinders were all around the garbage. Maybe that is a graphic that is designed to show up from the air, whether it's reality or not. No. No, not going to let me. Huh? There we go. And there. So can I get that guy from there? Not really. Okay. Well, we verified that. Need food. It's not quite time for a 60, but we'll put it on us. Alright, let's get to that other one. Heading over there. Junk stream. If we go with the junk stream, maybe it won't hit us. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we dodged the bullet. Alright, so let's grab the copper out of here. I'm gonna need a box just for copper until we start using it up. Oh, that spooks me. I don't know if I can do two glass floors. That felt like I was falling. Okay, I think I answered that question. Two. And for starters, let's collect the glass. And then let's put in a metal floor. There we go. Really? It's critically damaging us. That must be an impact. Don't see anything up there. Okay. Okay, up to 244. Uh, that one. That's where I'm going. Too many buttons to hit at the same time. Um, I don't see anything to extract. Yeah, I think we've been here. Oh, if we did, we missed the copper. We've not been in there. Uh huh. Okay, well, maybe there's some helium around here. Okay, so 244 didn't really work. Well, maybe it did. Okay. I guess we're that close. Alright, well, so much for my, uh, my new battery. Flashlight. And turn this guy off. Yeah, well, we'll take them. That was an old food ration. And since they don't stack, I don't think we need to keep that one. So let's go ahead and just eat him. And, yeah, we'll use the battery. Though we could definitely use the the um, circuit boards. These are always a good find. Here, one more from there. I crouched. Yeah, thought it was kind of low. Um, you and nothing. All right, miss anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Any missed helium? None this time. Lights are running, so we got to go find that which means I've got to probably drop down over here, right? 
Anyway, since I won't be recording this for a while, I may as well, yeah, may as well let this one run kind of long. So, three, gotcha, battery, okay, then from here, drop down into this one, and crouch underneath, storm's coming. There we go. Now, what took damage? And is it something that I can even see from here? I just saw the purple uh, catcher there. It's caught my attention. Alright, from this side, nothing on fire. Not that I can see. So whatever the damage was, it wasn't uh, wasn't obvious. Five. Yeah, something got hit. Was there a blue out there? No, it was close. All right. Where next? So lily pad to one light to two lights to question mark. Let's go to question mark then call this one done. Hydration is decreasing. Let's grab all of those and did I not put a? I guess I already grabbed that. Okay. Fill you up. Let's make another one of these. Um, water. A storm is coming, of course. Okay, we'll drop you in here. And grab you. Shift, lift, go. Nothing is under us. So as soon as I'm clear back over there, I should be able to just drop. Okay, dropping in. 220s. Slowing down. We'll call that good. Okay, we're supposed to drink. There we go. Food. Oh, that's right. We ate. Oh, found the damage. Here you are. Or, I, or that just happened, one or the other. Anyway, so I'm not going to eat the moth just yet. But I do need to get to that question mark. And I guess I can do that in the storm. So that's straight ahead of us. Driving through the Thule fog. Yeah, you can see us moving. And by, beyond it is an orange. That's the little one right above the question mark. Okay. So we'll hit that one next for more um, electrical elements. Alright, you're coming up pretty quick. There's things. Okay, so you are a wind farm that has been turned into something. That must be what the question mark means. Okay. Wow. So I'm staying down below for a while. Calorie levels decreasing. Yep. How far dare I go? Ooh. That was interesting. Get over here and watch this in the lightning. This is quite the uh, the structure. Looks like they've taken a wind farm and built a whole bunch onto it. And I'm being shoved forward. I wonder if I'm being hit from behind. Oh! Don't think that was me. It must have hit right up here. Hmm. Yep, it's going to be interesting. Um, we'll see this in the daylight, whether or not we actually do anything. It's raining inside. It is raining inside. It's not here. But it is there. Okay. Metal floor. Two. And there. Metal floor needs more synthetics, of course. Don't have any, right? I do. Okay. And we'll grab another stack of metal while we're here. Alright. Metal floor. Pop you into there and there and 
it's still raining inside. <laughs> but it's not here. What is the difference? Ow. Well, no warning that we just hurt ourselves. There's a balloon over the top of us all the way through. Though that's where the cockpit used to be. To the half point right there. Maybe when I reload the game. But right now, it's thinking this ship ends right here. And that's outside. Hmm. I wonder if there's any issues with that. Suddenly you fall through the floor because the game forgot that uh, this is... You know, this isn't out in front of the ship. Ooh. <laughs> okay, are we getting close to done here? Food-wise, let's go ahead and eat that moth just to get it done. Fat moth. Although, this would be a good time... Now the storm goes away. Good time to go get one more. Let's just do that. It won't let us do it from up above. So we've got quite a building we're heading toward. That's an episode all on its own. Go through and explore all that. Probably some some uh, clinch-worthy jumps in there somewhere to try to survive. Uh, w. Don't hit the wrong button and fall off. Okay, bring you up. Get you cooking. Another big old fat moth that looks like a bat. And still have one water. Um, let's toss all of you into it. Got five in there now. Toss you in. Oh, wait a minute. You're a glowing dust moth. I wasn't even reading. We haven't come across you before. An insect that lives in the upper layers of the dust. Okay, that's kind of the same description. You're 50 food all by yourself, even before you're cooked. Are you going to be like 100 cooked? Okay, we gotta we got to see what happens there. All right, so we can get up in the air now. Um, where to? What's in the center? Am I clear? I think so. Am I lifting? Yeah, let's go forward. Device damaged. Efficiency limited. I'm banging on something. What was it? I don't think I was making contact with that, but boy, a lot of damage. Uh, turbine damage, too. It means we're not going to get up as high. You're fine. You hit something. I'm thinking it's... I wonder if they put in an update. And... We're, uh... We're taking a lot more damage from these this floating debris than we used to. I think that's what's going on. Because before, as long as you were just sitting, you didn't take any damage. As soon as you start moving, it nails you. Um, do I want to park in here or up in there? It's a lot of walking. Huh. I don't know. Maybe just drop a gangplank right along the edge there. Am I clear? I seem to be. Yeah, let's try that. Spin around over here. And is there anywhere that I can actually see what I'm doing? Up in there? I think so. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Something like this, I think. Though we may hit this long before we hit that. Okay, pivot around. We're okay up above. Right in here. That's what I'm thinking. Head in a little bit, about like that, slow her down, drop. I don't think there's anything behind us that was close enough. So, f where are we at with regard to that? We need to go in some more. Okay. In. Forward. Stop. And out. Nope. Let's take it. Oh, interesting. So now that we're pivoting from the center, I can almost strafe with this thing. Okay. Drop it down. A lot of work before the lightning storm hits. I may just have to weather this lightning storm out. It took too long to get here. Rooftops. Hold tab to see more. 
hold tab. Ah, okay. So, rooftops. Improvised power plants built on high-rise steel structures. Produce electrical power for a nearby district. Source of copper, electronic resources, and helium. The standard wind farm is a typical power source that was built after the cataclysm. With time, due to the harsh conditions, electricity consumption was minimized. It slowly became a luxury available to only a few people. And that's the first time I've held the tab down instead of just hit it and went over to the database. Interesting. This way it actually went right up to a studies. Hold tab for more. It goes right to it. Why didn't I think of that before? So wind farm. We've already completed uh, wrecked sonar helium copper circuit board. Wrecked automatic deck extractor. Oh, that's big. I've seen these things work. They are amazing. They, they, they chew through batteries real quick, but they'll sit out there in front and just fire off that laser and bring everything to you. You don't have to go and extract anymore. Okay. Well, that, I think, is definitely an item for next time. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah, there, there's a whole episode just in this building. So I'm going to call it done here. Hopefully I can get one more episode out, this building out, before I leave on my trip. If not, I won't be back until, oh, something like the middle of July. But, uh, yeah, I should be able to sneak another episode, maybe even two We'll see before then, but yep, lots of work to do around here, so we'll I'll just have to play this by ear. Catch you next time. Bye.